Grab it up. Show you my style. Last time man, she roll it with a virgin to the rover. But I keep it stepping, baby, move on. Never mama couldn't get this love, couldn't take this love from me. I keep a lady close, ain't trying to make a cheat. She looking like a body, but a body's so she. Let's get ready to rumble and go correct. Oh, annoying coats, ignore that, whatever. I've got no makeup on. No one cares. I don't care. Do I care? No, don't care. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm so excited. If you are new here, welcome. I am Hannah, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing how I edit my Instagram pictures. So I don't really do much because obviously, you know, I don't want to be all fake, but like how I do the lighting, how I change things up and what I do with the background and stuff like that. So I have no idea how interesting this is going to be, but I thought it was a bit different and some people might want to know like good apps and good things to use and stuff like that. So I'm going to have on the screen what I'm doing on screen record. So I've got up my first photo, as you will see on the screen, and I have a sheet in the background because I have no like white walls really where I can take a nice picture. So I tend to do that because it makes the lighting look really good. And so the first thing that I do is I go into edit, which you'll see in the corner. And as you'll be able to see, there's all different things here, like auto, exposure, all different things like that. And I always go to brightness first because I feel like it's a good starting point. And then I go to about 39, 40 kind of, kind of number, like as you see the numbers go down. And I kind of make it more like darker. And then obviously it looks too dark. So I go down and it will say exposure and I go up to about kind of I just kind of play with it I don't have a specific way like I literally just make it up see I got to about 37 kind of number it kind of depends on the photo as well like how dark the photo is what it looked like so yeah and then shadows I kind of make it a little bit darker just to kind of I think I go the opposite way actually <laughs> yeah I kind of make it a bit darker like that and then highlights, I just literally make it up. I have no strategy whatsoever. Brilliant, it kind of depends what mood I'm in. Contrast, yeah, that kind of adds like a darkness. And that's it for the first photo. That's actually all I do. And it just looks more like it highlights certain areas. I do have an app which I'll be using in the next photo, but I could whiten up the background, but for this photo, it kind of makes the background look less good quality. So I kind of kept it like this and it just kind of, like, I don't change what I look like. It's just the lighting so that it looks more like, it looks better on the feed, if you get what I mean. Okay, so this is the next photo and I do the exact same thing as the other one where I will change the brightness to darker around the same kind of, Thing, maybe a little bit darker for this one and I go I tend to use the same ones um exposure and brightness are definitely my favorite like go up like that because it just makes it look a lot brighter and a lot sharper in a way so yeah for the shadows make it so they kind of highlight certain areas and then the highlights and I just kind of play with, with whatever suits that photo if you get what I mean so that is the first bit. So, so the next place I go is to an app called Airbrush and I select the photo. I can't even remember which one, I think this one. Now the mirror that I use looks kind of like yellow, kind of toned, it just it isn't looking great. So what I do is I go across, as you'll see, and it will say whiten. I don't know if you can see that. But then I click on whiten and then I kind of zoom in on places. And as you can see, it just looks quite dirty, like yellow, and just, it's a really old mirror, by the way. And then you can change the size so you can make it bigger, so that it does it quicker, depending on the area you're doing. Sometimes zooming out makes it a lot quicker, but it just makes the mirror look so much more brighter. Then at the end, if you've gone over any bits, you can click on the a razor button because obviously bits like the carpet I don't really want to white and a grey carpet so I'll kind of go over it there and then go over the corners and you can check to see like what bits you've done like you can see the difference like 
that and that it just looks a lot brighter and then the corner over here it just kind of depends on the photo really and what's there but for this one this is what i would definitely do because it just makes it look a lot nicer oh. i mean i was annoyed that um there was the emoji bean bag in the background <laughs> but um I couldn't blow that out because it just looked weird. I tried, but it just looked strange. And down here. Um, and it just, I just think it makes it look a lot better. And then obviously I can do that if I wanted, just to make it brighter. Then the ceiling up here. And it's sometimes it can be a bit awkward to move it around. I find it really awkward sometimes. Just around kind of anywhere really that you think should be whiter. And the erase button because I don't want it because I want to make like the lamp for example needs to be more bright and not so literally white and make sure the curtains aren't too and it just kind of makes a whole lot of difference and then if you click this thing in the corner you can just see the difference so it looks like that and then that and I just think it just makes it a lot better um, and then you click the tick and that is now locked in there is an acne button, but which kind of, like any dirt, it kind of gets rid of, but there's not really that much like that I might get rid of, just to kind of even out a bit. Um, and then the corners, it just kind of depends really. Um, let me go back to whiten because I just realised I didn't, I didn't do it down here very well. So like, and it's annoying sometimes when there's like different buttons in the way, like, ugh, really annoys me anyway <laughs> so sorry if this video is boring by the way i just thought it was something different and if anyone was interested then this is just what i do and then you click save and you save it then if i go into photos there we are and this is the photo and it just looks a lot more like you know highlighted and the mirror definitely looks a lot cleaner and i just really like it right so the last photo that i'm gonna i'm gonna show you is this one here go back into edit and once again do the exact same thing but it's very repetitive but i thought i'd show you from different kinds of photos so i'm going to take the brightness down as you can see it makes me look more like tanned and gives me more like warmth if you get what i mean and then obviously then it looks too dark so you turn up the exposure then go into highlights once again just making it up maybe some shadow Brilliant, mm, not really sure about that. And then stuff like that really. You just play with it what you think suits that photo or suits you. There is a black point as well, um, which kind of makes it like you can go dark. Obviously, I don't want that dark. You can go really light, which I'm not gonna do. So you can just kind of add more like, then obviously there's loads of different things like there's color, which adds to it if you wanted a or black and white um warmth i've never actually seen this so that's actually quite a good one um and obviously you can go really warm or you can go like really like cold sorry you can go really cold um and there's just different with sharpness and it just you just play with it really and um i feel like i've forgotten which ones i've done now let me go back to where i was there so now obviously after seeing that it looks a lot more like duller but so this would be probably what i'd end the photo on i mean i could whiten the background but if i show you on this app here oh still in that photo if i show you here like you could whiten the background but it just doesn't make the quality look as good like obviously the white would look really good on like your feed but I just think it looks more fake when I colour it in white, like the actual sheet. Like I do think that looks good, but the quality of that photo looks a lot better than that, if you get what I mean. So obviously it's different with the mirror one, because that one was like, that one didn't really look as fake, because it's not the whole background, it's more just the mirror. So I just prefer it like that to that, and I feel like it's different colours and it's just not very, I don't know. So that's kind of what I do. So the last photo for
for that one i would probably go with that so guys thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video sorry if you didn't but i thought it was a bit different and some people might be interested if you know any other good apps that are really good for like lighting and stuff like that please let me know in the comments and remember to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you next time for another video <laughs>